Okay, for tonight's supper, it's going to be in the crock pot. We are going to make a very easy dump and go chicken pot pie, I think. So I got some of these Simply Potatoes. Um, I did just buy this. I have other stuff, but whatever. We will put whipping cream in there later on. Now there are going to be some carrots and celery in here, but I got some corn. I got some peas. I'm going to cut up some mushrooms. And I have these cut vegetables. So I will cut up some celery and carrots to put in there. And at the end, I am going to make some jumbo biscuits. Oh, well, the star of the show. Check this out. So I got some grill and ready oven roasted chicken breast. It's already diced for me. Yeah, you pay a little bit more, but sometimes, you know, whatever. So this is all going to go in the crock pot. Pretty easy. Well, most of it will go right now. Not all of it. So, I need to cut these up and cut these up a little bit. And we'll be back. Now, one thing, do make sure, when I just got this stuff, spray your crock pot really well because it makes cleanup that much easier. Okay, so for right now we got every what I have in here is the all the chicken stock. There was two um, canisters of it and the potatoes. I did well. Looks like I'm making enough to feed a damn army. Well, I guess maybe I am. We'll eat this for a couple days because you know everything's always better the second day. Um, I got the celery cut up. Not too much. Just a you know, a little bit for flavor or something. Um, I have the chicken in there, the potatoes in there. Got this all mixed up nice. Now, later on, I'll come in. Um, I will add the peas and the corn. Now, they are steamable, so I'll probably just steam it and throw it in there. I did, we like garlic. I did add in four tablespoons of this. Um, I love this seasoning. This Medea Complete Seasoning. I added some rosemary, some basil, some garlic powder, and because I didn't feel like cutting up onions, minced onion works just fine. So, I've got this in here for, well I set it at four and a half hours on high. I'm probably going to turn it down to low because, well, everything is pre-cooked. Um, so basically, like I said, it's a quick and easy dump and go. I just had to cut up some carrots. I'll put the carrots in later. Um, Quick and easy dump and go chicken pot pie. Now, when I get back home, I will make up the biscuits to go with the meal. And then just put the biscuits on top of your dish or what have you. So, and since it is like 50 degrees here, it's a little chilly, not too bad. Still hoodie weather, so it's okay. Um, a nice soup. Is good. So, like I said, we'll eat this for a couple of days, and uh, which is fine by me. So, there you go. We'll come back and see what it looks like later on. Okay, so as we can see, it's nice and steamy, and it's cooking really nice. Now we're going to try and make it creamy too. So I'm going to put some of this heavy whipping cream in here. I'm getting kind of full, and I got to put vegetables in here yet. That's scary. 
I'll mix that around a little bit. Now, I did make that little slurry with the cornstarch and uh, water. We'll see if this is enough to thicken it, or I might have to add a little bit more. If I add a little bit more, I might have to take a little bit of liquid out. Ooh, she's getting full. So, I got the vegetables going in the microwave because I didn't want to cool this down too much. Now I'll just put the cover back on and let it go. And next time you see me, I'll have some in a bowl. Okay, now I put some corn, the carrots that I cut up earlier, and some peas in here. Um, we'll see right there at the top. Yeah, I might have to take some more liquid out. And then get some more thickening stuff in there. So far that's what it's looking like. So we'll give it about another 45 minutes or so. Now, the vegetables I did put them in the microwave for a little bit so they weren't so cold when they came in here and stuff so and then I will make the biscuits in a little bit which the biscuits are right there so next time you see it for real it'll be in a bowl okay and here is what it looks like now I made those little Pillsbury biscuits which is kind of like the crust of course, I got a shit ton of butter on mine, but that's okay. Still steamy. Now we got we got the carrots, peas, corn. Now remember, everything was in a package, so just make it a dump and go, and um, use whatever thickening agent you want. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take a bite of this. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Good. Oh. That. I really like the flavor of this. Wow. I'll definitely be making this one again when it's cold and stuff. Or whenever. Now, I have enough to feed an army. We'll be eating this probably all weekend. Well, for a couple of days anyways. Everything always tastes better the second day, right? So, we'll definitely be making this again regardless. It's got a really super good flavor. Time for me to eat.